Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier, and welcome to a much more detailed look at how the Wooting One and Wootility work together, plus a full and easy to use explanation of how to configure it for Star Citizen. This channel was built from the ground up to take complex topics, sequence the information logically, and then explain it without wasting your time. I call it no bullshit. Thanks for your continued support and feedback. Let's begin. The Wooting One was previously explained and reviewed in detail, Please follow the link if you'd like to start there. The Wooting One can operate as a normal keyboard, as an analog keyboard, or in a hybrid mode where a single key press will send both signals. Because the computer sees the Wooting as a keyboard and a game controller, there are many options to bind it easily to get the desired effect. The most common application with the Wooting would be to bind W and S keys to left stick forward and back, and the A and D keys to left stick left and right. This is possible with any game supporting a game controller. In most situations, one or two minutes in the options menu and you're ready to go. The simplest way to integrate a Wooting into Star Citizen is to leave all keyboard functions vanilla, except those for movement. You don't need analog control over things like reload, jump, crouch, and use. So with that in mind, let's leave everything alone and bind only the keys required for moving on foot, moving in EVA, and piloting. W, A, S, D, Q, and E, plus spacebar and control key are the unified keys common to all types of movement by default in Star Citizen. This instruction is based on a fully default key binding set. I'll talk you through this process easily, but you can easily adjust this to suit your personal key binding preferences. Let's start in the utility by setting up Profile 1. I adjusted the actuation to its lowest number of 1.5 millimeters, giving you the most travel range. Next, set the toggle for digital keystrokes to on. This toggle is quite important because if it's turned off, None of the keys will behave like a keyboard unless you switch modes. Switching back and forth is a pain and it's not necessary. For Star Citizen, if you follow these instructions, you won't need to change profiles on the fly, it's seamless. Bind the following in the utility. W and S to left stick up and down, A and D to left stick left and right, Q and E to right stick left and right, and spacebar and control to right stick up and down. You can also adjust your profile colors right now to help you remember or just to look cool. In the near future, I'm going to make a video discussing curves because it's its own subject. Now launch into Star Citizen and log into the advanced key binding for controller. Take the time to go down the list and remove any bindings here that isn't one of the eight you plan to add. Bind your ship movements the way you'd like by double clicking the axis and then pushing the appropriate key. I have one suggestion for ship movement. Consider binding W and S to thruster forward and backwards instead of the default throttle. You would gain the ability to fly both forward and backwards in combat, plus if you release, the ship will eventually stop. For those concerned with a cruise control effect, you can simply use backspace to set it and forget it. If you find you're more comfortable with the vanilla bindings, stick with those. If you find that your axis is inverted, you can change that also in the options menu. A and D are strafe left and right. Q and E are roll left and right. Spacebar and control are strafe up and down. Continue down the profile, deleting everything until you get to EVA and on foot. I set EVA exactly the same as default. WASD are front, back, left, right in strafe. Q and E are roll. Space and control are up and down. For analog foot movement, you only need to bind WASD. Q and E are lean left and right. They're momentary and they don't need to be analog. Spacebar is jump and control is crouch. These are also momentary and don't need to be analog. Continue down the pages in the game controller binding area, deleting everything else. This is not mandatory, but I'm OCD. This ensures quicker problem solving if you have unwanted or unexpected behavior in the future. You're almost done. Now switch over to the keyboard binding pages. Leave all the keyboard bindings exactly as they are, except for those analog binds, which you just made. In ship movement, unbind straight forward and back, unbind left and right, unbind roll left and right, and unbind up and down. If you bound throttle instead of strafe, make sure that you delete the correct bind. In EVA, unbind up and down, left and right, and left and right roll. On foot, unbind forward back, left, right. You need to unbind these keyboard inputs because the booting is set to hybrid and it'll send both an analog and a digital signal. You need to make sure that the game only reacts to the analog signal for it to work as intended. There you go, you're ready. I will put a profile code to add to your utility. 
However, it's probably going to be quicker to just change it yourself manually as it's only 8 binds. I have an observation before ending this video. If you already own and pilot using a combination of controllers other than a keyboard and mouse, I would not replace them with a Wooting for piloting. I do however see a benefit in upgrading to a Wooting if you exclusively use keyboard and mouse to fly. If you use any joystick type controller, you could still see a benefit from its extra features for FPS, EVA and ground vehicles. This is exactly how my controls are set up now. I'm available in Discord through our redacted server which is linked in the description. I stand by my reviews and my community so please private message me if you have any issues or questions. Thank you very much for spending your time with me today. If you liked this video and got something out of it, please do me a solid and share it with a friend or orgmate. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.